my name is Gabriel from Gaba QC. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install a RAM, also the precautions that you have to uh, have in order to avoid any mistake, and also how to avoid frying anything or burning anything because you have a static on your body. So here I have a regular computer. I have also a motherboard. So I'm going to teach you how to install the RAM and with the precautions that you need to know in order to be safe and to have like, happy customers. So in this case, first of all, you have to know that you are going to need anti-static gloves or you can use the wristband. So any of them will be okay. In this case, this equipment is very old and it doesn't work, so I don't care if I burn it or not, but I'm going to teach you what you have to know in order to prevent any damage. So first of all, first of all I'm going to show you with the regular computer. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put this in one side, so that way you, you can see the, the other one. Okay, great. Now we have the motherboard. I'm going to change the camera, so that way you can see what I see. So in this case, I'm going to zoom in, and that way you're going to see everything very clearly. You're going to be able to see every, everything very clearly. So here, as you can see, we have the motherboard. So in the, this is the main board that you're going to install the RAM, so you are going to see few slots. Here we have the slot for the video card, another maybe modem or another very old video card, and something else like Ethernet card, modems, and all those things. So if you're thinking, well, but this card is very old, HCP is very old, it doesn't matter. We are going to teach you how to install RAM, so it will be the same thing. In the other computer that I have, in, in my side, in the other side, I'm going to show you um, in a little bit. It's newer than this, but uh, the, um, the technology behind is, is the same thing. So this is the RAM. So when you buy a RAM, you're going to have these sticks, as you can see here. And they are going to be able to fit if you, are, if you, if you get the, the right RAM, or otherwise it will not work. So here I have the, the RAM, as you can see here. We have different RAM, one is DDR2 and the other one I think is DDR1. So if you, if you put it like that here, you're going to see that it will, it will fit just fine. We have a little notch here in the middle, so I'm going to remove it. So as you, as you can see here, here we have a little notch and the notch in the other RAM is a little bit different. So as you can see, they, they don't fit. They are just a little bit, a few millimeters apart. So that is why you have to be 100% sure of what kind of RAM you are going to use. As usual, if this is the first time that you see one of my videos, you can go to the playlist or buy the full class. So that way you are going to understand because I explained a few other things before this video. So as you can see, the you, you see the, lock, the locking mechanism here. When you push, you will see that it will, it will lock the, mem the memory. So I'll try to show you without putting the, 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 the fingers in the middle. You see, they, they just lock it and that way it will be just firm. So the first time, if this is your first time that you're going to install a RAM, uh, don't don't worry when you start pushing because if this is a, your first time, you have to grab the the, the RAM from the sides as, as you see that I'm doing it, I'm doing it right now. Also, try to avoid touching here in where you see the contacts on the on the memory. Also, this this contact that you see here. Also, remember this is not a sandwich. You don't have to grab it like that. You. If you don't have any anti-static gloves or anything like that, try to grab it from the, from the sides, and that way you will prevent damaging the, the computer. So what you have to grab is grab it like that, and then put it, just make sure that the notch will be in the, in the right place. I'll try to zoom in so that way you can sit a little bit closer. 
There you go. Okay, as you can see here, we have the, the notch. So when you, when you install the, the memory, you have, you have to be up right that, that way. And then you just press. I'll, I'll show you right now. So when you press, be very firm. There you go. And it will lock the, the memory and it will be fine. So if you, are, if you have the, the wrong RAM that like we were talking before, it will not fit. I seen many errors of you know, people trying to add more RAM and they say, well, the computer works, but it doesn't take all the RAM or something like that. I'm going to try to put the other one. Uh, things that I seen in the, in the past is memories like that, you see? I'm going to zoom out so that way you can see the other end. And you see in this end, it seems like, well, this end seems to be fine, but here is not fine at all. So even if you try, of course, you're not going to be able to, to do it because it will not fit at all. I mean, the notch will prevent uh, using the wrong RAM. So that is why it was designed that way. There is no way, even if you turn it around or something like that, there is no way that you can install this RAM properly. So it will be like that maybe, or maybe it will be in the other, in the other way, like this or something in, in between, but it will not work. Also, make sure that if you have, if you have the right RAM, it like you see, it's in this case, we have the right RAM, make sure that it's all the way. It's not like that. I, I seen this kind of mistake, like maybe the RAM is not all the way or something like that. You see here the, the tab or this not this this place this uh, mechanism the login mechanism is not all the way in as you can see here and the computer will not work or it will not detect all the RAM properly so make sure that it's all the way just push you don't worry you are not going to break it I mean if you push it like that if you push it like that yeah you may break it but if you push it upright like that is is this uh, this RAM is is very hard so you will not be able to to damage it that, that way. So now I'm going to show you the other computer because if you have the motherboard that is laying on your table, yeah, surely it's very easy. You don't have a video card, you don't have anything on the way, so that is very easy to do. But uh, I'm going to show you the other part. Also, I'm going to talk about the static a little bit and the precautions that you have to have in order to avoid damaging the, the computer. So in this case, I'm going to zoom out a little bit uh, more. And here we have the, the computer. So as you can see here, we have the, the RAM. The, this is the other RAM. So it was for this. This, is, this belongs here. So in this motherboard, as you can see, we have PCI Express. So this is the, the newer. It's, it's newer. It's not all that new, this motherboard, but it's newer. And sometimes you will have a computer with the, with the video card on, on board in this case. So if that is the case, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have a video card, like in this case, let's say here we have the, the video card. This is a very old video card, but it's kind of powerful. Uh, it was kind of powerful uh, at, at that moment. So as you can see, it takes all the place and it will be very hard. So in this case, if you want to remove the RAM, as you can see, there is no way because the video card is on its way. So it will, it will prevent you to do that. So here you don't have any issue, but here there is no way because you have the video card. So first of all, what you have to do is if you have the option to use gloves, yeah, great, uh, use this, uh, this, this is a special glove, it's anti-static glove, so if you don't have the wristband, like I said before, you can use something like that, and, and you can work. Of course, I'm going, this is a demo, so I don't have to wear both, but the, the idea is that you have to wear both if you don't have any, any, other, on any other way like this. So if you are using, maybe if you have to buy tools and you don't have any, what I recommend you is to get uh, the iFixit. So in this case, it comes with everything that you're going to need uh, and more. Even you can repair some cell phone with this. So here you have all the, the ends. So you can say iFixit 
we have different kind of prying tools, tweezers, uh, and everything else. And here we have more things. So I think I made a video about, about this kit already. So if you want to know more, go to the magnify glass, and that way you are going to see it. So the um, the wrist, the anti-static wrist comes here in this small pocket. Uh, what you have to do is something very easy. Just make sure if you're going to use it that it, this piece of metal will touch your skin so that way you're going to be able to I mean, discharge any static. Also, you have to try to adjust it the way that you want it. If you have a small uh, wrist, you pull more, or if you have a big wrist, you pull a little bit more in the other side. So and in this case, it works, I think like that, it works fine to me. And then you just close it. As you can see here, it says, I fix it. There you go, I fix it. So what you're going to do is just put it like that. Make sure that the metal is going to touch your skin. Like I said before, once you, you know that it's touching the, the skin, you're set. So now you have this, you're going to put this here on the, on the metal or here. So another thing that you, that you can do is in this case, you can connect the computer to electricity, uh, like, you say, like you see here. And you're going to unplug the power supply, as you can see. So if you unplug the whole power supply, the power supply it comes in this connector, just use, you unplug it, unplug the, the other cable and everything, and the video card as well. You just unplug all, the, all those things, and you should be fine. You should not have any electricity. If the power supply is, is connected properly, the third leg will be touching of the cable, will be touching the, the chassis, as you can see, and the, that cable that you have here will go to the outlet and the outlet should have the um, this uh, prong as you can see and it should be on on the on the ground so that way if everything is on the ground if you have any doubt or this is your first time or something like that and you are not sure okay just unplug this but if you have if your installation is in good shape and everything is by code of your country, you should be able to realize that this, this leg that you have here is connected to the ground properly and this prong should be uh, disabled. Even, even you can, if you want, what you can do is just grab one piece of ca uh, the cable that goes here and just ground it here somewhere. Or maybe you, you have just a, a ground laying around and then you just you grab uh, some some kind of alligator and then just put it like that. So the, the idea is you have to be 100% sure that you're not going to damage the, the unit, that you will not have static at all. So uh, once I say that, uh, re remember uh, if this is your, your first time or something like that, try to be next to some adult or someone who knows what he's doing so that way you're not going to be in danger of, because you're playing with electricity or with a computer. I'm not li uh, liable for, for that. So once I, I say the disclaimer, make sure that what you're doing uh, is, is right. So once uh, you have everything li like that, what you have to do once you un unplug everything, you can remove the, the, video, the video card. In this case, the video card, it has some kind of um, locking mechanism that I'm going to show you. It's here, here, this one here. So it's this one that you have here. As, as you can see, when I move it, it will, that, that leech will um, release the, the video card. So I'll try to zoom in so that way you can see it a little bit better. So as you can see, when I move it like that, or you can push it with a screwdriver, like that, make sure that you don't damage any uh, capacitor or anything like that. And uh, you should be able to release the, the memory. So in this case, as you can see, you push like that, and there you go. So you can, 
you can uh, uninstall the, the RAM, install the new one, or replace it if it has some, some issues. So some, a little trick that I'm going to teach you uh, right now. So is if you have a rubber eraser, as you can see here, you can clean the whole contact in case if the RAM is not working properly or something like that, and you think that there is something wrong with it, or if you see the, the contact are brown or something like that, you can clean it, you can clean it all. So once you clean it on one side, in the other one, you can put it back. If, if that doesn't work, okay, just buy a new stick of RAM, install it here, um, and that's it. So that is all you have to know in order to install the, the RAM properly and you will not have any issues. So remember, when you are going to install the, the RAM, make sure that the notch fits it, its place. Push in one side, in the other side at the same time. And uh, that's it. And you, and you are set and you should be able to connect everything back and everything should work just fine. If you, if you have to leave the computer for some reason, you, you can just unplug it like that, as you can see here, and then plug it back. And once you finish, you open the alligator. Um, basically, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this class. Remember to click on the little bell, so that way every time I, I upload a video on YouTube, YouTube will let you know. Click a like, leave me your comment in the section below and see you in the next class.